Well, first bonobo no-show. So what I mean by that, we did a, well, we, we set up for a bonobo um, play party at this event, Nest, and no one turned up. Um, really quite disheartening because I, I spent quite a lot of well, I spent a lot of money to come here to run um, some workshops for a the bonobo experience, but also as part of my masters. And um, uh, yeah, we got all of the fruit ready, we got everything prepared, we got all the music right, um, and nobody came, and that was quite a painful thing and a bit embarrassing. It was difficult for me to kind of start to process the fact that nobody showed up or, or cared and it, it kind of maybe dinted my ego a bit. Um, it's a very big learning. A lot of the it's, they call it Acid Friday today so a lot of people as we were, we were setting up were clearly very very high um, and that contributed I think so a learning for me is that we don't do bonobo workshops at events where people are on substances um, maybe at queer spirit because that seems to work but at this event it seems like the workshops aren't really a priority they're more of a, um, a reason for the theme camps to exist so they put a program on they have a nice um, catalog so that maybe the council can they can justify to the council what it is that they're doing here so what have I learned from it I've learned that first of all very disappointed however the learning is don't run them at events where people are going to be high and at least the very best thing to do would to go to events where you have a lot of workshops happening um, but there's enough people to inhabit those workshops and they're not distracted by um, other events like um, discos, parties, that sort of thing. So yeah, I ain't really got much to, more to say other than it was a big fail and I'm going to learn from it. <laughs>